Good afternoon and welcome to day two. I'm standing near the water gate uh, behind me. That's where I work. And I wanted to tell you today about my, kind of my origin story of travel. Like basically where did all of this come from? Um, it might take longer than a couple minutes, but I'll try to do the condensed version. So I grew up pretty much since age five or six. My dad got me into a stamp collection and that's where it all started. Um, I was fascinated with all of those countries and all those places on the, on the little stamps and I looked at maps to figure out where were they and there were different currencies and I mean it was just fascinating to me so I just kept um, kind of nerding out with all of that stuff and uh, just kind of followed me throughout my entire life until I was um, in college. And I met people that had actually traveled to these places and I just never thought it was something that was available to me. Um, I just thought, I don't know, rich people or other people did it. It just didn't occur that it's something I might be able to do. So once I did it, I was hooked. And um, I didn't do as much off and on, um, but I definitely did a lot of traveling and it's always kind of stuck with me. So, you know, I, after a lot of the travels, I came back and got a job and kind of fell into the typical uh, what you're supposed to do lifestyle but um, now I'm 46 and I've decided I'm done with that I'm tired of it like why do I have to keep doing something like that when all I really want to do is travel so I'm trying to find a way to do a little bit of both so something that will involve travel or that will really involve my passions and so that's what this whole thing is about I don't really know what I'm doing here but that's that's part of the whole learning process so that's why you're here on this journey with me so that is kind of how it started and we'll continue another day on everything else so thanks for watching bye